Hey guys, welcome to this week's uh, video log. Uh, for today's videos, I'll be posting a highlight from the weekend seminar that we had uh, with Eduardo Tetarias. He's the leader of the frontline team in Oslo. They're currently the most successful gym in Norway in Jiu Jitsu. And they also have several, of, uh, a couple of UFC fighters currently doing them. Uh, so the first day of the seminar for the weekend was uh, Nogi, uh, which I'll be posting for this week. And the second part was Gi, which I'll be posting next week. Uh, since I didn't want to film just uh, the techniques, I'll be posting some of his uh, concepts that he shared for the seminar that I consider that are useful and also like just the brainstorming of some uh, counters for the back step uh, guard passing in no gi. Then next week I'll be posting the similar thing for the gi and some sparring footage that we did on Sunday. So check it out, like, share, subscribe and enjoy. Thanks guys. everything that I was thinking, we keep covering the things after the break and usually I like to do a, uh, some rounds of sparring and some Q&A's right so I think that's interesting one thing that happens when, on the Q&A's is that when, when you're sparring is that questions everybody like uh, nobody wants to ask anything right or that doesn't come to your mind so just start thinking about these things from now some different questions from, from now right that I can try to to help you guys to figure out uh, in the game, right? Or questions about um, how we train down there, or, or history, or politics, love life, whatever you guys think you're wondering about, I can try to help. But <laughs> but uh, but it, it's important for me to, to get the feedback from you once you get to this uh, to this time, uh, sparring and having the questions, right? We're gonna be here together for some hours already, so so I mean. And one thing that's also very normal is that as well guys questions and then you, you get yourself thinking that I'm not gonna ask this, it's just a stupid question. I'm not gonna say this, not gonna open my mouth. And my experience is that for, for myself, most of the times this the stupid questions that I didn't want to ask was that the thing that solved my problem. Right? Sometimes you have to change the group from here to there. Palm my hand up, palm my hand down, it's gonna change everything the, on the technique or, or the game that I'm trying to play. So put it out there, you know, just make the questions and, and that's how it is. Yeah. Sometimes you, you even know the answer, you just want the confirmation. I'm not gonna ask them because you know, sometimes you don't you even know the answer, you just want to look for a confirmation or something like that. But just just put it out there the techniques and many times you can be your 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 friend uh, question, your friend techniques, uh, your friend is wondering about the same thing, right? You don't know, but you wonder about the same thing. So it's important for me to, to hear from you guys, right? right? I, I need to be always aware of it, right? So, uh, there. It depends how we start. If it starts me coming from my half guard or something like that, from my sit up guard, trying to go to single leg, he switches there, right? But first thing that I try to do is that as you, let's say that it's, it's more like this, very common. It's trying to pass here into the into the knee cut or something like that, mom, and I start to block, and then he's gonna go there, right? So start to go there. 
the first thing, one of the first things that I do is that as he's moving, I try to always just like he's coming to a to a pass. I I, I have to try to understand if he's coming to a pass if he's coming to a, to the knee attacks, right? To the leg attacks. That's one thing that happens a lot, right? So there are some things that I like to work here. So one of the things I try to keep my my knee safe, of course. As it goes, you switch, and let's say that you're trying to get my knee here, bam, right there. So first thing that I do, I'm gonna start to push the hip here, bam. One thing I like is to keep my legs locked and try to adjust a little bit. I'm really heavy here on my knee. Yeah, I try to be really heavy here and try to point my knee down. As my my knees pointed up, I was gonna be attacking my legs, right? So I start to push the move here. To try to get some advantage to try to escape, right? I have a whole game that I can play from here, right? Before he can take control my knees and things like that. Of course, I'll be my own situation there. There's one thing that I like to do here that surprises people sometimes is that as you go there, you switch. As you switch in here and try to get my knee, so I'm gonna start to do this. I start to side move up. Right? If, he's, if he's not careful there. And in order to defend, he's most many times he lets go my leg. Right? Right? We hear, he switches. As he switches, good. So he's going to start to work. So I keep pushing his knee and I grab my coin, start to connect to here. Right? Even if it's tight there, he's trying to work. That's it. He's trying to work. So I'm going to start to connect to here. So I keep my hands tight first. I'm going to start to connect. Good. So I'm going to start to work. I don't know. Good. Give him some time to work and to escape from there. Right? Uh, of course, without the gi, especially with this uh, knee bar game and things like that, to switch and hook it under there, I need to be really careful because I'm exposing my leg a little bit too much. Right? But uh, usually I'm pretty, I, I feel pretty safe there as long as my head is not, is not, uh, is not controlled. Yeah. Even if he goes here, he sits on my hip and he's working here, right? That's fine. As I said, one problem at a time. <coughs> Right? So I'm going to start to push and hip escape and, and, and what's your biggest problem here? Uh, uh, when I get the uh, underhook on this side and start for the pass. No, uh, the other, the other. Uh, the other side. Yeah. When I go. Uh, this one here? No, no, no. Uh, like, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah this ah, one. that's the, uh, uh, that one. And then I go to get the leg out for the pass. And, yeah. Cross face, that way. That's one. Yeah. Right? Second is that the underhook is there. Just push it here. Just start to block him. Try to work his back. He's gonna try to defend it. Good. When you just look at me, exactly. Start to hold him up. Right. So be sure that that's the one that is more. Right. So come in. If I'm here, you switch, and you go in. Go in there. Good. I come with the back of my hand here. Right there. Come on the back of my hand. I connect. Try to try to pass now. Try to pass. Right? This is one thing is different than go back. This this is it. It's different than just trying to hold your hand in here, right? So as you're gonna be having a good side, but I love that. So I really need to use the back of my hand here. And I connect it there. So can you see this? That's different than just trying to hold your hand in the neck. No, no. These are these you can just look down the end and keep working fast. That's not a problem. Right? Why is it tight there? If I if I want to do this one, yeah. Try to move, ah, cranking here. That's that, you can breathe, you keep going up, right? And the second one that I use a lot, is that mm -hmm. as you get there, good. As you come here, I'm gonna start to use my hands, right? Not the elbows, so my hands. So I'm gonna start to go here. Good, try to pass, try to pass. Okay. For these two, that's what I was most here. Yeah. What, what if they're controlling your head? Then it's different. Then I gotta crunch and start to work. Alright. So if controlling my head here, I have some different things to work with for my head. So I have different things to work. I need to set my head first. So I start to crunch here. So that's the first thing that I do. Then I can work my half guard from here. Different things that I like to work from there. Right? Even before I put hooks or anything. I like to crunch and just set my head free. More questions? Uh, what if they don't uh, step all on this palm? Oh. Oh. And then they went back to the other side? And yeah. Over Good. Over. There, this way here? Yeah. You can work the same thing. Yeah. 
here and the same thing from here same thing from here I, I even open my guard from here that's fine so I'll try to press once I get here right now the, the, the control Down. Down. here there and of course switching my legs switching my hip up but you go from here but end up with the same situation. Yes, same thing. Yeah. So I like this process a lot. Mm -hmm. I like this process and this pushing is it. As soon as, as long as I'm not holding my head, to feel safe. I kind of recovering just I'm only recovering hard, not attacking so much, but I'm getting out of that very bad situation. There's some things that you can block the, the, the elbow and then I try to roll over and things like that, but in reality like when there's a good guy on top of you, just what you have to do there is to just fight to decide something better. Right?